Hello, beautiful people of YouTube. Welcome to my channel. I know I look like crap right now. Um, it's raining out. It's disgusting. And I just, I had a full face of makeup on earlier. I went to go get my nails done and it was not open. It was shut down for the day. There was a note on the door that said, we're not opening today due to a family emergency. So I couldn't get my nails done. I just came home and I was like, you know what? Whatever. <laughs> so... I have a little mini Ulta haul and Makeup Geek. Um, now, with the Makeup Geek, I have never tried Makeup Geek eyeshadows. I know, shock. But I always wanted to try them, so I picked up just a couple, six, I think I picked up six to start off with because I want to see how they perform, and then I will pick up more. I have 18 more in my cart. I have 18 more eyeshadows in my cart. So, I have my Ulta bag over here, sorry. But I picked up two Z palettes. I have big Z palettes. I ordered the Big Zebra Z palette from Makeup Geek, if you guys have seen that. I love Zebra, so I picked up a couple of those, but they have not come yet, unfortunately. I have to wait until I get back from my vacation for all my stuff to come. I've said that in previous videos. I ordered a bunch of stuff before I, stupid me, should have waited till I got back because I ordered stuff from Sephora and more shadows from Makeup Geek. I ordered more lippy sticks from ColourPop. I have to wait for all this stuff to come now because of my vacation. I told them to hold it at the UPS factory so I wouldn't lose my packages so nobody would steal them at my house you know what I'm saying so for makeup geek I just picked up these first of all I just want to talk about these I picked up two Z palettes and they're the baby ones and I thought they were perfect because we're going to Disney World for traveling and to put in my favorite shadow so I picked up the black one first and it's so cool I didn't fill this one up yet but I will it comes with like how to deep a thing in here of how to depot your shadows, blushes, whatever you want to put in here, and it has the directions on how to do that, which I think is pretty cool. Then it comes with a full thing of magnetic things from circles to squares to rectangles, you name it. So I picked up the black one, and I'm going to fill that up with some shadows and stuff that I want to take with me. And then I picked up the cheetah one, which has the shadows that I actually bought. So here is the packaging of them. See, I bought one, two, three, four, five. Where's the other one? Ooh, I don't know where it is, but I bought six of them because they're in there. So I bought six shadows. See, one, two, three, four, five, six. So I love this palette. It's absolutely stunning. And... These baby palettes were 15 bucks a piece. So I, the big ones were 20. These were 15. So pretty pricey. And the shadows themselves are six dollars a piece. So I picked up some of the colors that I've been dying to try. So I'll show you right here which ones I picked up. And they're so cool because they're magnetized. And this is what I'm taking on vacation, this little Z palette. So I picked up Peaches and Cream. So that's the first one I picked up. It's the perfect transition color. Do you see that color? So that's Peaches and Cream. I'm sure everybody knows what that looks like. But this is my first time trying these shadows, and I'm in love. Let's just say that. I picked up Peach Smoothie. I love how it has the name on the back, and it's magnetized peach smoothie right there so I have 18 more in my car because I fell in love with these I picked up Cinderella I love the name Cinderella is like a pinky pinky color it's a really pretty Ooh, I just stuck my nail in it don't break on me already I just got you I picked up Cosmopolitan. Can't wait to try that one. Now you could fit nine shadows. 
Nine makeup geek shadows. One, two, three, four, five, six. In these little Z palettes. I picked up Coco Bear. And the last one I picked up, which I am in love with, these are hard to get out, is the infamous Bitten. And it is this gorgeous red color. So those were six bucks a piece. So those are the shadows I picked up. So when I was done, this came to me yesterday or the day before. Um, this Makeup Geek order, the first one. As soon as I touched these, I ordered more. So I got 18 more coming my way to fill up these two little palettes. And then, like I said, I got the uh, big Z palette, the zebra ones coming my way. Then I picked up two brushes, which I saw a video of Marlena, the creator of Makeup Geek, showing these, vid these videos. God, jeez Louise. These brushes in the videos and I've been dying to try this. This is the Makeup Geek pencil brush. So there it is right there. And I think, do you see, that this is the perfect size to get in there and smudge your under your lash line or even in the crease. So watch her video on how to use the Makeup Geek brushes and all about them. New Makeup Geek, Geek brushes and how to use them. And you'll see what I'm talking about. She does a great job explaining the uh, brushes and how to use them. And it's just amazing. And the other brush I picked up is the Outer V brush. And I thought that this was absolutely stunning. And it just, look at the shape on that. It's just perfect to get that V shape without having to use tape. In love with these brushes. Cannot wait to use them. I've been having this stuff sitting around since yesterday, but the Ulta stuff I've been having sitting around forever. Some of the stuff I've used because I couldn't help it, you know, so. Alright, so the first thing I picked up from Ulta was the Urban Decay Vice LTD palette. I never hauled this but I did pick this up. This was, it's a limited edition palette, and this was 52, yeah, $52. The packaging is absolutely stunning. You have 20 shades. That's what it looks like. So I was so excited to get this. Love it, highly recommend that. I picked up, let's see here, three concealers. These two are like, Amazing. I just don't like the applicator. The Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser Dark Circles Treatment Concealer and the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser Dark Spot Treatment Corrector. I don't know what the difference is between these two, but they are different. So I picked up those two. I picked up another Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in 25 Medium, which is almost gone already. That's how much I love it. But yeah, I, I've been using this stuff, so I can't not include it. I picked up another It Cosmetics Bye Bye Lid Lines. It's been sitting in my drawer. Every time I go to, I use it, and then I put it back in the bag. I'm like, I gotta do a haul so I can just keep using my stuff, but I'll use it and put it back in the bag. Um, it Cosmetics Bye Bye Lid Lines, because I ran out of my first one, so I had to pick up another one of these. Best eyeshadow primer ever. Uh, I picked up a... Two foundations, another It Cosmetics Ultra Repair Liquid Oxygen Foundation in Tan, best foundation. Uh, the Philosophy Miracle Worker Foundation, which is so crazy because they're having the 21 Days of Beauty and the Philosophy Miracle Worker Foundation is on there for $25. Those are normally 40 something bucks a piece, so I'm going to stock up this time. But those are my two favorite foundations. Then I picked up... Uh, oh, there's the other Makeup Geek thing. Now I can throw it away. Uh, let's see here. Then I picked up... Let's just get into this. I picked up another Kenra Nourishing um, Deep Conditioning Hair Mask. Love this stuff. 
Uh, another Kenra Blow Dry Advanced Dry Thermal Protectant Heat Spray. This is my favorite blow dry spray. A, another Urban Decay Vitamin Infused Complexion Prep Spray. Love this stuff. Just showed this in my Holy Grail video. Uh, last makeup thing, I picked up another Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. And this is also in the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty. Again, this was in it last year. Um, it's on sale again, so I will be getting it again. So, yeah, that's the story with that. And I picked up another Philosophy Purity Made Simple One-Step Facial Cleansing Cloth. Unfortunately, I'm allergic to these. Uh, at first, I wasn't, but once I started using them more, I became really allergic. Red, got a reaction to it like I've never gotten before, so I cannot use these. They are full. It's... I've literally only used one or two out of this. I can't use them. It's like a waste of wipes, but I'm allergic to them. All right, these things I'm excited about. I finally picked up the IT Cosmetics CC Plus Radiance Ombre Bronzer. Color correcting anti-aging waterproof bronzer veil with hydrolyzed collagen peptides and drops of light technology. This is a big ass package. This was $38, guys. But look at the packaging. So you can see the ombre-ness of it. $38 for this. Perfect color. Love it. Can't wait to use it. I'm, why am I playing it? See, I'm used, so used to putting it back in the bag. I haven't used this, though, yet, so I have to admit that. And the last two things... I picked up the Urban Decay Naked Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer. I have used this. I did a review and first impressions on it. I do not like this concealer. I wish I could return it, but it's already been used. And I don't like returning things once I use them. No. Um, so this was 20 something bucks, but I don't like this concealer whatsoever. I don't recommend this. Uh, and I did pick up the powder as well and tried that and didn't like it either. So, um, it's just my opinion. If you like it, cool beans. But it just, I don't like this concealer. So, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. But I can't use it. I just don't like it. Too fragrancy, too it creases. I just don't like it. Now, this is my baby. The It Cosmetics Eye Lift in a Tube Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer and Hello Light Liquid Brightener. This is the most amazing invention I've ever seen in my life. So now I can finally take it out of the freaking package. Uh, so it has the Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer down here, and then it has the brightener up top. I just never hold this stuff, guys, and I've been dying to. So I think this is the best concept, and I'm going to start purchasing this instead of the Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer because of the fact that the Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer has so much product in it that it will take you literally like three years to finish up one tube. So here's how much product you get on each side. This is the brightener. It's a highlighter. It's amazing. I love this. This was 34 I want to say. And here is the Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer. And that's how much product you get which I think is perfect. So if I have to keep repurchasing this instead of the other one, I will do that in love with this. So yeah, guys, that's my little baby haul. Um, I didn't pick up much stuff, but like I said, I have more stuff coming my way, so stay tuned for that. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this little haul. I know it was kind of dinky, but hey, you know, it is what it is. I buy way too much makeup as it is. The 21 Days of Beauty is coming. I'm going to be buying something every day for 21 days straight. I'm going to be doing a haul. So, and plus I still have my other Makeup Geek stuff coming, my ColourPop stuff coming, Sephora. And after all this, after I come back from Disney World and the 21 Days of Beauty is over, I am on a no-buy. I have a drugstore haul yet to upload. I'm on a no-buy once this is all over with. I swear to God, I am on a no-buy. And if I try to buy something and say, ooh, I'm going to go get that or say something to one of you guys, like if I text you or something, like we talk like we do, tell me not to buy it. Tell me don't go shopping. Make me not buy any makeup, okay? Help me out, please. Tell me. Encourage me. Tell me you're on a no-buy. Don't buy any makeup. 
So this was my little haul. I hope you guys enjoyed and stay tuned for the next video. Please subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.